how God loves us. God created us in his image. God gave us a free will choice. You can't have love without a free will choice. It can't be forced, like a robot or something. You have to choose it. A part of God died for our sins on the cross. God's like a trinity, and he can be like a Father, Son, Holy Spirit. He can live inside of us. He can die on a cross 2,000 years ago. He could be in heaven. He tries to make us successful through loving. He tries to teach us to obey his two greatest commandments, to love him and to love others. Not with our power to do it, but with the Holy Spirit's fruit to do it, the fruit of the Holy Spirit's love. Walk in the power of the loving spirit, and you shall not fulfill the selfish flesh nature. He tries to fulfill us spiritually. He never created us to try to find happiness from the creation successfully. He did create us to try to find happiness from him spiritually. It's like God's presence is a fullness of joy, not eating the fruit from the tree of knowledge is a fullness of joy. If we seek our fulfillment God's way, we'll find our fulfillment God's way. So God created us in his awesome, loving image. Gave us a free will choice to choose to be like him or not be like him. A part of him, his own son Jesus, died on the cross for our sins. For God so loved us, he gave us his son. To try to take our sins away so we could be close to him. He tries to make us successful through trying to teach us how to be loving. And he tries to fulfill us spiritually with his love, joy, and peace coming from his spirit. This is a bit about how God loves us.